am I fighting for? Everything back and more. And I'm not gonna. I'm Frank Zingo from Sum 41. I started playing the drums literally at birth. My father um, had a kit in the house. When I was three years old, I walked away from the dinner table, and the next thing my parents heard was me playing the kit, and I haven't stopped since. I started playing like out professionally when I was like 16 in cover bands, working the whole like East Coast area. We would tour up and down like every Thursday through Sunday, um, and that was my job. Like I right out, I was like in high school, and then I graduated high school early and just went out on the road and did that, which was amazing. And then I stepped away from that and started doing cruise ships in the orchestra, um, theme parks, which is where the whole street drum corps thing started, you know, earlier that I revisited later. Um, and then I had a bunch of original bands in New York playing the whole New York scene. And I always wanted to be in LA. And I got a gig in a band in LA and just, I was 25 and I was like, I'm gonna try it for one year. I've always wanted to be out here. And um, at least I know that I tried it. And I went out there for a year and I met my Street Drum Corps partners. The first night I moved to LA, my first gig, and we jammed together. And Street Drum Corps was born there. And here we are 13 years later. Uh, I joined Sum 41 about a year and a half ago. Um, met these guys on Warp Tour when Street Drum Corps was out and they were out years ago. Um, in Canada, and we hit it off, and then just Derek and I kept seeing each other and bumping into each other in LA, and just through a mutual friend, we hung out a bunch, and then when Street Drum Corps kicked off our Vegas residency, Derek was our special guest for night one, and it's the first time him, he and I had played together, and there was just something there, and he invited me to his house to jam, and just kept, come back again, come back again, I'm gonna bring the guys out for two weeks and we're gonna hang, and, then they officially um, offered me the gig, and then we did some shows together, and then um, started writing and doing the record together, and it's been about a year and a half now. What made me join the SJC was I've always known about them and admired what they did. I'm just a big fan of custom drum shops, and just guys that are just ahead of the, the curve with just technology, and just different kits that you don't see, and when I had a vision to do something, a uh, statement piece for this whole, just the world now where I'm at in my life, my career, it just kind of the stars aligned. Mike and I had a lot of conversations and we dropped up something that no one said could be done and SJC made it happen. And um, honestly, in my entire drumming career, I've said this since I started playing these drums, which is, hasn't been long. It's the best drums I've ever played. Um, just, it makes me play better, just the way they feel, the sound of them, and not only they sound amazing, they're enjoyable, but it just, it's a piece of art that everybody is freaking out on this tour, and it feels good to just create something with a company that is kind of the first, and a collaborate with, you know, an iconic artist like Shepard Ferry and make the first kind of art drum kit. Um, it's an honor. Favorite part of playing drums is being the heartbeat of the show and having that energy that you give out and watching a sea of people let, watching it move them and you are controlling that rhythm and that beat and that tempo and it's probably the most rewarding thing in life. The advice that I always give is anything you want to do and you want to accomplish just do it until it happens. There's no secret mystery of life and this and that it's just do what you want to do until it happens and never stop until it happens because it will happen. Just keep that drive, that fire, that passion. Keep your eye on, on, the, on the goal. Don't let the other things sway you from what your goal is. Stay true to your art and, and what you believe in and it's, it's just, it's going to happen.